Tyler Perry in a movie he didn't direct, write, and produce, and star as Medea? Oh, the horror! The horror! The horror! The horror! <laughs> this is Alex Cross. <laughs> No expectations going into this movie at all. I remember seeing the trailer and going, oh my gosh, they're showing everything. We know that Tyler Perry is going to save the day. And we know that Matthew Fox is really good looking with his shirt off. And he's really buff. And he's clearly the bad guy. He's the bad guy. Hey, 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 he's the bad guy. He's the bad guy. Did you see that? Did you see that? He's the bad guy. No surprises! No surprises! We are going... Uh, we are... I am, I am about to watch a movie that is going to be so bad. So awful. But I, I'm not surprised about that because the trailer made it look like there's no hope. He's not Medea. I wish he was Medea. But there's no hope. There's no hope in this film. Rob Cohen's directing it. I like Rob Cohen. He did uh, Fast and the Furious, the original one. That was fun. Triple X, the Vin Diesel vehicle. That never went anywhere after the fact that Triple X was... Well, maybe it'll come back. The, I, I enjoyed that movie. It was ridiculous. It was kind of a guilty pleasure. I like Rob Cohen. He, he did that dragon movie in the 90s about Bruce Lee. I think he's kind of talented. I like Rob Cohen. So, Rob Cohen directed this film. Maybe there's some hope. And also, this is a series of films that have already started. But I, I, this is a prequel or a sequel. of. I've never seen those films, Kiss the Girl and Along Came a Spider. But they're all in the same universe. So the movie started, and I was really concerned. In the first ten minutes, I was like, yeah, Tyler Perry, not Medea, acting. Edward Burns is in this. Rachel Nichols. Hmm. John McGinley. Okay, I'm, I'm curious. Matthew Fox. I like Matthew Fox. He was in Lost, one of my favorite TV shows. Okay, this is getting interesting. This is getting... Oh, this is... Okay, this is forming a story. Yes, it's very predictable. Wow. I'm invested. I'm really interested to see what happens. Oh my gosh, there's actually a surprise. There's a few surprises. I didn't expect that. Wow, I'm being entertained right now. I, I could not believe it. I am now going to officially go into my review of Alex Cross. Yes, I had no expectations going into this movie. I was just thinking, okay, this is going to be terrible. It's going to be a train wreck. And then suddenly, Leon the Professional showed up. John Renau, the great French actor, he, ha he was in this movie as well. I can't believe it. This isn't bad. This is the biggest surprise of 2012. Tyler Perry let somebody else make a movie with him and it might be his best film he's ever made. Not the best film I've ever seen, but maybe the biggest surprise of the year. I can't believe it. This movie is entertaining, it's exciting, the action feels fresh. Even though maybe the story, you could get it all in the trailer, that doesn't matter. I like Matthew Fox's performance, even Tyler Perry. Surprisingly, Tyler Perry actually acted really well. I, I, he was really good and he didn't have to dress up as a woman. I, I, I cared about him and when there is this really huge surprise that I did not expect at all. I was sold. They, they got me. They trapped me into their cage and I was like, I never want to leave. Now, before I saw this movie, I actually heard that they've already signed on to do a sequel. Well, bring it on. I can't wait to see this sequel. This is, this is, <laughs> I can't believe I'm even saying that. Yes, yes, it, I, 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 I want, to, please believe me. I'm not making a joke. This, I'm totally being serious. I'm trying to do it with a smile because I can't believe it myself. It's got a story that moves, flows. Near the third and final act of the film, it kind of gets into standard territory. Something's got to happen. And the movie's called Alex Cross. It's not called Matthew Fox the, as the villain. So... No, I don't want to spoil anything, but the movie's called Alex Cross, so just be warned. This is a movie that the Tyler Perry fans can embrace and say, Hey, look, I, this is why I like Tyler Perry. He can actually convince me of this situation. I, I, I bought it. Even it, when it kind of fell on its face near the end, I really enjoyed it. I'm happy that they've already signed on a sequel. Let's see if an audience will go see it and see if it'll make money. That'll be the big surprise. But for me, the big surprise for this film was that I actually enjoyed it. Not the best movie of the year, but in my opinion, the biggest surprise. Because we all knew Avengers was going to be a good or great movie. And we all knew The Dark Knight had the potential to be one of the best films ever and conclude the, one of the greatest trilogies ever. That was no surprise. But that Tyler Perry would be actually in a movie worth seeing? 
Man, surprised the heck out of me. I'm gonna give Alex Cross. I wish I could put some graphics there. Three stars. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter and Facebook. And please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to We Live Film. And also go to WhoYouTube.com. Man, it was fun watching Medea kicking ass!